It's another gorgeous day here in Vancouver, British Columbia, as we take a look at downtown Vancouver. The Legion find themselves in a neck-and-neck -neck fight with Baltimore after the Vultures lost to DC a week ago. And with two weeks left to go in the SFL's 18th season, Vancouver's opponents Houston will look to make a late case for their playoff aspirations. Good afternoon from Canada Field, I'm Tyler Fall. Seasons past this week would traditionally mark the start of the playoffs in the Simulation Football League. Welcome along to the first ever regular season work week 13. Wade Phillips joins me here in the booth and partner Houston is behind the eight ball right now. They are in must win territory with how things have shaped out around them. Can they get back into that midseason form where they won five straight? It's definitely gonna be an uphill battle because Vancouver, we've talked about it before the game, the best really standings that they've had ever nearing a, a double digit win season and really Houston has to be firing at all cylinders to be able to get a win tonight because Vancouver is going to play hard. They're going to play a very clean game. And over to Vancouver, this marks their best ever season on record uh, already with nine wins. And another win would be their first ever season with a double digit win tally as Houston or Houston, Vancouver has already locked up the Pacific Division just looks to close out the season, maybe with an extra cherry on top with the number one seed. The home team has won in all seven previous matchups. Will it be the same story or will Houston write a different chapter? Houston will go ahead and kick us off. They're in the white tops, black bottoms, and Vancouver is in their Canuck uniforms, blue all around uniforms with some green trim. Here we go, folks. Sonny J to get us started as the Houston kicker. And here we go. We have kickoff north of the border in British Columbia. Chris Curtis on the return from near his own 10 yard line cannot shake off. He tackled by Eddie Berg, the backup tight end. And that is where Captain Canada, Tom Pepper, possibly makes his last regular season home debut as a Vancouver Legion. And you know he's going to be wanting to play lights out as his last uh, home game. Tom Pepper, of course, putting his name in the hat along with the Calgary expansion bid. So we might see the last of Tom Pepper in a Legion uniform as he's back to pass, steps up in the pocket and fires over the middle and nearly his first pass goes directly into the hands of the Hyenas. Mike Jones gets his hand up there. And let's introduce you to the rest of the Legion offense. Robert Redford is the tailback with Sawyer Stern, the rookie fullback. BK-12, Brett Killian, David Gears, Kendra Hall, and Chris Curtis are the wideouts with James Walters at tight end. Mike Coverson and Michael Prococo might make up that outstanding offensive line. Tom Pepper stands alone in the gun with Redford off to his right. Pass over the middle is caught by Chris Curtis near the first down marker. They will mark him maybe half a football shot. And that time they got it, almost got to the first down, third and inches. Really, Houston's defense played great on those first two plays to really force them to where now it's a very short third down, but they're going to try to stay strong. Backs in the backfield, handoff up the middle for Redford and give it to him. Very tough yardage gained by Mr. Redford, and it picks up Vancouver's first first down. He absolutely chugged away to get those just few inches and that he needed to get that first they'll take it and now they set up with the first down tom pepper back in the gun back to pass once again pressure coming off the middle he'll dump it off to redford who gets brought down one yard behind the line and let's introduce you to the rest of the Houston Hyenas defense. Alex Prez, who made that last tackle. Frank Stackhouse, Julius Maximus, and KT Slayer make up the defensive line. David Harrell, Zed Markov, and KT Horrell make up the linebackers. Marco Swift, Kai Cash, Diedrich Law, and Mike Jones are the corners with Josh Rowe and Brady Clark, the safeties. Five wide for Pepper. Second and long. Stepping up. Hit as he throws. Incomplete. Pressure again coming from Alex Perez, and that's two... Well, one and a half tackles, we'll call it. And that was Alex Perez again, having a fantastic season. 4.5 sacks on the season and 14 tackles for a loss. He's been playing lights out and tonight showing it again. Hey. 
Another four wide set here for the Legion. Heffer over the middle. That is directly into the arms of the intended defensive back. And it's picked up by Houston. And that'll return all the way to the 45 yard line. It's Brady Clark who comes up with the INT. What a great interception. Went up there. It was right to him, it seemed. He was playing just the perfect position to be to get that ball. And that is his eighth of the season. And that's just a well-timed interception to put Houston on the field for offense. And now Vancouver's defense has to play with a somewhat short field. It's going to be around midfield, but now it's a tough position for him. So here comes Dave Burr, the quarterback for the Hyenas. He'll start off his first drive in excellent position. It's a floater out to the left, and it seemed like there was some miscommunication from Tyler Simeon and Dave Burr. And Houston's offense lines up as follows. We've already talked about Burr, the quarterback. Brad Jones is the rookie halfback with Justin Williams in front of him at fullback. Cal Finnamore, Dougie Day, DR Sim, and Greg Corky make up the wide receiving core. Randy Pierce is the tight end with Ethan Kai leading the way in the trenches at left guard. Burr in the gun once again here on second down. Pressure coming from the left. He escapes one tackle, but it can't escape the second. It's a loss of seven on the sack, and it's Gerald Judas Sessi who comes through the middle to bring him down. Absolutely. Both all the defenders on the line got through there just on a mad rush. Got through there. First tackle gets shaken, but then that Gerald Judas Sessi gets there, cleans it up, gets the sack. The drive started in Vancouver territory. Now on third down, Houston are back in their own area of the field. Corner out near side, tip nearly incomplete. They're nearly intercepted by Dean Maddox, and it brings up fourth down. It was excellent coverage by Dean Maddox. It's really just a great defense by Vancouver to force the three and out after giving a ball away on offense. And now looks like their offense is going to possibly get to take it over and get this punt return by Chris Curtis. So the Vancouver defense holds firm and allows nothing to happen after giving the ball away on their first offensive possession. They'll get the ball back after this punt from Brian Adams. Punt is away. Chris Curtis calls for a fair catch at the 20 on yard line and that they'll haul it in without any problem. If you're new to the SFL, the Simulation Football League combines traditional sports, esports, and a role playing game into one. Team strategies are being executed in real time by our simulations as real life players compete on the virtual gridiron. For more information about the SFL, visit our website at simulationfl.net. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Power I set behind Pepper. It's going to be a swing pass near side for Redford, who gets clobbered. The line is scrimmaged by David Harrell. David Harrell just smashed Robert Redford, and that time, no gain, but Robert Redford, we call his name a lot in the receiving game and rushing game, and that time caught it and with nowhere to run, immediately swallowed up by the defense. Now Vancouver go to an I formation, extending one more wide receiver out to the near side. Redford trying to get something going, and he's tackled by his ankles behind the line by Maximus, and the run game has been slow to get going here for the Legion. That was phenomenal pressure by the defense. They got in there and stopped the run, and that just excellent defense so far by both these defenses. Four wide receivers here on third and long. Pepper takes a five-step drop, steps up, looking over the middle, and that is caught by Brett Killian over the outstarched arms of the defender. It's a big gain of about 27. It was a, just a phenomenal play by Tom Pepper. Really started getting out, getting a little happy feet, but had to get rid of the ball, threw it in the perfect spot. The receiver caught it first down, and now they are moving down the field. They're in even better position now, and now Vancouver very much driving down this field. Over the outstretched arms of the man who got the early interception, Brady Clark. Very nice pass by Captain Canada, passing this side. Robert Redford spinning out of a tackle and picking up five yards. 
that is definitely a, something to watch in this ball game is Robert Redford on those swing passes and screens. They love to target him in those. And he really, he can make you pay if he gets any space and he can make you miss and really hurt you. Second and five, three wide receivers, offside, near side, call it coming, and Pepper will be taken down and by Stackhouse, but it will go for not. Penalty coming up on Alex Perez. First call of the day for RCT2. And yeah, that was a free play, but great job by Stackhouse to really stop it and not let him hurt him. So just like that, they'll move the chains as the five yards get picks up Vancouver's first down and... Vancouver, I, I just got to say here, Brett, or not Brett, oh my, my goodness, it's like I've been calling a whole <laughs> bunch of games with Brett Solberg, Wade, but Wade, I'm partial to these uniforms. What do you think? I'm, I'm with you. I love this Vancouver uniform kit and Houston's as well. They're pretty clean. Very clean. As Redford isn't a whole clean game, picks up four yards before he sat down by Marco Swift and or excuse me, Josh Rowe in on the tackle that time around. Josh Rowe's had himself a, a spectacular season, Wade. Already has set the record for pick sixes in a season. Absolutely star-studded this season. Really, just anything in his vicinity, he has a chance to pick off and take to the house. Might we see one more here this week? Pepper, quick drop, looking outside. That is caught by Kendra Hall near the 20-yard line. The marker at the 22. It was a great route by Kendra. Looked like a corner route. She got right in front of the, kind of posted up in front of the defender, jumped for it, caught it, and then the defender did a great job to limit it to where she didn't pick up any more yards because she is very fast and very good after the catch. But Team great job leader, by the right. defense to limit her and great catch by Kendra Hall to extend those chains. Sorry about that way. Team leader in receiving yards is number 14, Kendra Hall for this legion. Just outside the red zone, they'll go with a bunch set toward the near side. Play action from Pepper. Looking to the end zone, it's tipped away from Brett Killian, incomplete. I believe that was Josh Rowe getting his hand up there. And that, like we mentioned before, Josh Rowe, anything in the vicinity he's going to get a hand on, there's a very good chance he'll take it the other way because, I mean, what is it, 12 interceptions on the season already? And, I mean, just, just an absolute stud. Number one in interceptions, of course, we already mentioned the pick sixes. So very dangerous defensive back. And he's only in his second season. Man's on fire. Pepper back to pass again. Looking over the middle for Brett Killian. That's two times they've targeted him. Two times that Houston has swatted away. Indeed, Houston's defense is playing very well against him in this game. Early on, anyways. It, we'll see how it looks later on for Killian because you, ima you can imagine it's only a matter of time before he just busts out and gets a huge game, but hey, Houston's doing a great job in uh, really scheming on him and keeping him limited. Four wide right receivers, three to the right, one to the left of Pepper, who's back in the gun. Back to throw, looking short, and unfortunately for Pepper, that's going to be ruled as an ineligible receiver downfield as he was looking to maybe dump it off over the heads of his tall offensive lineman to Robert Redford. Yeah, it looked like Robert Redford just got lost in the pile and and Tom Pepper just couldn't find him and threw it in the pile and in, ended up hitting a lineman, which you just can't do that. And now they're going to have to be set back a little bit. So after that really weird play, on comes Chance to win. Try and knock home a field goal to put first points on the board. Chances 16 of 17 this season. This one will be about a 39-yarder from the right hash. Map spot. Kick is on its way, and it is good from to win, and it's 3-0 Vancouver. Esports TV has partnered with the SFL to bring sim football to millions of homes over the next two years. ESTV is the world's first 24-7 live linear and Avad Esports channel available everywhere through your smart TV, on your phone, through Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and so much more. Visit ESTV.co to learn more about its programming and to find all the ways you can catch the SFL on the network. ESTV, the 24-7 leader in esports. Return from Greg Corky gets all the way to their 25-yard line and on comes their offense. Last time out, they picked off the 
football of Vancouver, but they couldn't do anything with it. Wade going three downs and out. That's right. Vancouver, two drives, three points. And now Houston, one drive, zero points. So we'll see if they can respond, get at least three points on the board to try to tie this ball game up. Houston and Vancouver, both teams right around the league average in terms of points. We'll get to that more here in a mo moment. Burr passes to the left, a spin move, and lots of room to run for Brad Jones as he explodes onto the scene, picking up about 20 yards. Just a phenomenal play. Caught that and then had blockers out front and made the men miss on that initial tackle attempt right there. Caught it, starts off, and then that spin move. Breaks two tackles and then gets around, but the block just not quite held up enough to finish it off. But hey, picked up a first down, and now Houston is in a pretty good spot to be able to continue this drive. Very nice opening play of the drive. That'll get their first first down of the ball game. Offset eye behind now, Burr. One wide receiver off to the right. The stretch play left side. This time, Jones can't do anything. And coming away with a tackle is Arf, actually Rose Finch, as we introduce you to the rest of the Legion defense. Gerald Judicessi, Achilles Papatonis, and Cabrin Womack are the defensive line. Earl Fields the fourth, Josh Farnsey, Marquise Reed are the linebackers. Major key, Ashley Rose Fence and Dean Maddox are the corners with Mark Lopez, Michael Lister, and Drew Hamilton at safety. Pass near side is caught by Sam. He's across midfield and into Van Hoover territory down to the 37. DR found the soft spot in the defense right there, caught it, and picked up a few extra yards after the catch. Great job, and that time, the quarterback found him, and then he was off to the races, and they luckily the defense of Vancouver caught him, secured him, brought him down. But now, look at that. We're on Vancouver 37, and Houston very much has a chance to at least put up three points. So maybe trying to give DR a little bit of rest here. He'll take a little breather on the sideline as they try and go a swing pass to the halfback Jones left side, having a couple of blockers. That quickly evaporates. It's a pickup of five for Brad Jones on that swing play. You know, we we talk about Robert Redford as that dual threat, but really, Brad Jones so far this season has shown that even as a rookie, he is very dangerous as a receiver and a runner, and it's evidenced by a very fantastic scoring line and statistics. With that last tackle from Josh Farnsey, he now reaches 100 on the season, already leading the league in tackles coming into this week. Brad Jones gets the call through the middle, picks up three, and it brings up third down. Another just plug away for Brad Jones, really, the more they use him, the better it seems he gets. And now it's third and two, and really, Houston can choose a number of things to be able to use on their offense. Do they want to run it, maybe, or do they really try to go through the air, possibly? Two backs in the backfield. One right receiver tucked in tight on the line to the right. Third and short. It'll be a passing play. Pass near side, caught by the tight end, Pierce, and he picks up the first down. That was a really smart play call by the offense run a route that just about guarantees you five yards, get it, and then he catches it and picks up a few extra. And so they pick up the first down using the tight end, and now Houston very much threatening and, and is very assured in their intentions to pick up points. And you pack in everybody tight with that kind of formation, and making the corners think they're going to run it, and then when you try and go with, run with that out route, it, it just creates a whole lot of trouble for all those defensive players as Jones gets the call here on this first down, picks up four. You said it, and, that, and then it, that really opens up your playbook to where you can get them leaning run or even leaning pass and then break off a big gain when you catch them off guard. Two tight ends set here now for the Hyenas as they are now inside the red zone. Stretch play near side for Jones. Has a couple of blocks. Tried to make a man miss at the 18, but he will go no further as Dean Maddox wraps him up. Really, those those blockers just couldn't quite get to the second level, and that allowed the defense to really fill those lanes and stop the ball carrier. And uh, that time, just only a mo moderate gain, not much to threaten. And now it's a third and four, and Houston has to come up with an answer. Burr looking near side to a falling receiver. That is caught. Greg Corky on the reception. Move the chains. That's a first down. Yep, move those chains. That's what they needed. First down, they got it. And now it's a very manageable 
first and 10 on the Vancouver 13. So first down, you know, 10 yards gets you on the third three yard line and very comfortable spot to try to put points on. It's a very methodical drive. This will be the 10th play of the drive, which started at about the five minute mark. Deep drop from Burr. Looks for a stop route and it's Corky, his intended target. Unfortunately, it's knocked away from him. Second down. That was a great job by the defense. And really, I thought that Greg Corky was going to catch that and be so close to really scoring right there. But I believe that was Mark Lopez on the pass deflection. And really, they needed that because that looked like a guaranteed catch. Another heavy set here for the Hyenas. Do they go past like they did earlier? They will. Looking for a screenplay that doesn't develop. And down goes Burr at the 19-yard line. It's another sack for these Legion, and it's Vic Bo Bowers Jr. with the sack. And they needed that, and that was the backup getting the, the sack. They had to have it because it looked like the offense was in a great position, and now it knocks them back into third and 17 on the Vancouver 19, but great job by Vancouver's defense to get that sack and set back Houston's offense. This could possibly be the final play of the first quarter, third and a country mile. Here for Houston as they stand on their own on Vancouver's 19. It's just a short dump off for Pierce, and he looked a little scared as he saw about two defenders closing in on him, and he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Houston will attempt the field goal, and we come back. It's the Vancouver Legion in front, maybe not for much longer. It's 3 to nothing. You're watching the Simulation Football League on Twitch. Welcome back to Vancouver, British Columbia and Canada Field. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Wade Phillips here in the booth. Statisticians today are Rochelle Coaston and Declan O'Rourke. Our producer is the SFL Commissioner, Cameron Irvine. Glad to have your company here on another edition of the Simulation Football League. Week 13, first ever week 13 in the SFL's history. Kick is up and good and we have a tie ball game once again at three. Yeah, that's two drives and three points for both of these squads. So really, tit for tat, and now we've got a whole new brand new ball game. Longest drive of the ball game so far for either team. 13 plays, a total of 59 yards, all culminating with that 31-yard field goal by Sonny J, who will kick us off to get us going once again and, and partner both teams. We've seen a couple of their explosive abilities, both teams really high in terms of scoring potential, but uh, both teams being a little bit more methodic. They are. It's really been, like you said, methodical drives, somewhat staying balanced as much as they can, and then the explosive plays every now and again. And we got a, a penalty. A flag on the return. Not sure what the call is. I didn't think I'd see anything. R62 will give us uh, Clara some clarification. That's going to send Vancouver back a little bit as they'll tag tight end Dior Smith on the return, caught, called for holding. That is definitely not what you want to set yourself back a few yards on special teams and set your offense up in a hole off that, you know, on their first play on this drive. So this drive will start from about the 12 yard line and Vancouver already in the shadow of their own stadium and possibly their own goalpost. Pepper stands in the gun. Looking outside, Brett Killian is there. He'll haul that end gain of six. They'll call it at the 19. That time, Brett Killian caught the ball after being targeted a few times on those first two drives. That time, caught it, picked up a, a moderate, moderate gain, and now it sets him up. Easy second down, and really, Brett Killian has to get going early and often because he is such a weapon for this offense that they need him to be consistent throughout this ball game if they want to beat Houston. Tom Pepper's early numbers right around 60 yards passing today. How are I set here for the Legion here on second and four? They're going to pass out of it. It's a swing pass left side for Pepper, and he dropped the ball. It's fumble, and Houston recovered. They're still going. He's not down just quite yet. He's knocked out the 11-yard line, and Houston will set up an excellent field position once again. 
And that's heartbreak because Robert Redford c- caught the ball, established possession, and then gets knocked out, fumbles, and then the defense catches it, and then no one gets to him. So he gets up and takes off and picks up maybe three or four yards, and that really hurts Vancouver's offense because they were already in a bit of a hole sh- on a short field, and now Vancouver, 11-yard line, and very much Houston just eyeballing that end zone and wants to push it in. So they come out here in Vancouver territory, deep in Vancouver territory at the 11. Handoff, Jones through the middle, looking for the five-yard line. He'll get it. So it's a pickup of about five for the tailback. And a first down gets you on the Vancouver one. So that is absolutely something that if Houston can get there, that's basically a checkpoint for him to try to get four more tries to get in. I don't think if you're any offensive coordinator in any league, you, you, you're scratching your head while thinking, huh, we're starting at the 11-yard line. What, what, what do I have to call here? Because it's a pretty pretty easy set of plays. You could probably call a couple runs, especially if you have a tailback like Brad Jones, a rookie standout who can't make anything going this time around as he's taken down on that far side by Womack. And you're absolutely right. I mean, this is the, the, the part of the field where you can kind of get a little um, – out there and try to do something that gets you points. Three wide receivers here on third down. Burr under center. It's another handoff for Jones, who spins around and gets into the end zone. Houston are in front. That was a phenomenal run by Jones right there. Looked like he was going to get bottled up early, but then broke the tackle, spinned out of it right there. Spins out of the tackle, and then it's really just weaving through traffic. A little juke move right in the end zone. Touchdown, and now Houston, with the points on the board, makes it a nine-point game for Houston. Three points for Vancouver, and really, Houston, not much better than they could have asked for on this drive. Houston make the most of the short field and will bring home a touchdown on Brad Jones's run. On comes Sonny Jay to try and tack home the extra point. Snap spot, kick is up. It is good. It is 10-3 Houston in Vancouver. Have you checked out video content produced by our community lately? Catch the Simpod every week, SFL Crunch Time, and Road to Glory every Wednesday night. SFL Nights with AJ Stryker premieres Thursday nights. Say it with your chest airs Fridays, and Netma can be seen all week long at 7 p.m. Eastern. Every week, the live show schedule can be accessed through our Discord server at the top of the channel listing. Just look for the events tab. Chris Curtis on another return. He breaks out of a tackle and can only get to the 26 yard line. Ball security has not been Vancouver's strong suit today. That needs to change pretty quick if they want to keep pace with Houston. It absolutely does because that's two turnovers for them already in this ball game and it's only the second quarter. So they really have to make sure they hold on to the ball the rest of the game because from from here on out, it only gets tougher. So Pepper goes into the shotgun with his halfback and tailback to his left and right. Redford looking for a comeback route. It's caught by Kendra. She pays the price as she went up for it. Kai Cash was there to bring her to the turf. And that is an example of laying it out all out on the line. She went up for it and let her body take the hit and caught it and maintained the catch for only a one-yard game. But, hey, that just shows the type of receiver she is. Offset eye behind Pepper. Three wideouts in the package. Deep drop here from Tom. Looking over the middle. It is off the helmet of the defender incomplete. And it seems like Houston has been reading Tom Pepper's eyes quite effectively, David Harrell. Uh, got it. Got his head to the football. He did. It almost looked like the receiver got his hand in front of his face, kind of sh- screen shielded him, and couldn't see it, and then doinked him right in the head. But that time, if you get your hands up, that that's going the other way right there. Maybe he was thinking about the other kind of football, the one that <laughs> Americans you know will will call soccer. But it's a. <laughs> Tom Pepper back out onto the field. Five wideouts, three to his right, two to his left, and a five wide receiver set. Three, two, dime look here from Houston. They send three. Tom looking over the middle into coverage, and it's intercepted again. 
and it's again Brady Clark. Two interceptions and a forced fumble today. Have a better day, my friend. Yeah, that makes Brady Clark's ninth interception of the season. That time looked like Tom Pepper might have led his receiver just a little too much, and that time Brady Clark was there to collect it and take it up the field a couple of yards, but now they are right near midfield and very much a chance to put more points on the board right before half. So on comes Dave Burr once again. He'll start off this possession again. This will be the third drive for Houston that starts in Vancouver territory. Pass over the middle, and they capitalize almost immediately. In down inside the 30-yard line, it's DR Sim. Yeah, and DR Sim, that's his second catch, 42 yards on the day. So that's 21 yards per catch. So anytime you can get a receiver catching the ball 21 yards down the field every time he catches it, you know you're doing something well. And that time, Houston found the spot. They completed the catch, and Vancouver is reeling and trying to figure out something to stop the bleeding. Things are not going right. Houston trying to become the first team in this series history to win on the road as Brad Jones gets the call. He can't find any room to run. Tackled behind the line by Earl Fields the fourth and Major Key. Right there, Vancouver did all they could to make up for their deficiencies on the few plays before, but that time did a great job stopping the play and making it a two-yard loss for the offense. Second and long, they'll come out in a power eye set. Burr is going to look for his tailback. Jones, he spins away from one, can't get away from the second tackler. Mark Lopez, he picks up a couple. Those yards lost in about a couple more. Total of six. Only six yards on that play, and it looks like so far, and when they've gone to that power eye, they've passed it, and they've only been able to pick up a few yards whenever they've gone to it, and this looks like, obviously, they're going to pass this. The 25-yard line, Burr. Looking over the middle on the all slants, play caught, first down inside the 15, down to the 13, grows Corky. And that's another, some more stats to pad the, the record of Greg Corky. He's putting in a fantastic day already, and so far, Houston's offense, other than that one drive where they stalled a bit, they have been firing in all cylinders so far. Cut in flex the left with two wide receivers and I formation behind Burr here on first down. Five-step drop, looking deep to the back of the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Kyle Kittimore, and Houston extend their lead. How about that pass? Dave Burr just laid it up on a platter, and that was a great catch. Absolutely phenomenal catch by Kyle Kittimore. Dave Burr in concert with the receiver, just tossed it up there perfectly where only Kyle Finnemore could catch it. Got it. He got two feet in. Touchdown. You only need one in this league, but got both feet in. Touchdown. And now Houston on both feet forward, uh, very much lapping Vancouver in this early game. Dave Burr looking more like the veteran quarterback so far here in this game compared to Tom Pepper. Snap spot kick is up and good from Sonny J. 17 to 3, Houston with the lead. You know, we we expected somewhat of a close game, but who would have thought that Vancouver would be down 14 points in the first half? Which granted, you know, it's very early in the ball game, and Vancouver is a very good team, but I never would have thought that a nine and one team would be down, you know, two score, two touchdowns this early. Last two games have have been more of a high-scoring affair, right around 80, 90 points combined for both clubs. We'll talk more about the last time these two teams met here in a moment, but Chris Curtis on the return to the 24-yard line. Maybe this is a little bit of revenge here, partner, for what Vancouver did this club la last time in season 15. Vancouver won 76 to 13. Yeah, it, it's just a wild game that we could see something similar to that, and really. Vancouver has to come up with something because they are slowly running out of time to be able to mount a comeback. Linebacker show blitz, but then back off. Pepper looking to the left side. That is caught by Killian, and Killian picks up eight yards, and so the drive starts off pretty well, but it's the second down and third down plays that haven't been on point for Vancouver. You're absolutely right. It's it's definitely those later on plays in the in the series that they have been failing on. They're they're getting pretty good plays on first down, 
but then, you know, second and third down, they've just been kind of falling flat and just haven't been able to convert on third down. We'll see if that changes here. Second and short. Here for Vancouver's 31. Tight end flicked off to Tom Pepper's right. And off. Uh, Robert Redford through the middle. Breaking tackles. Continuing to turn the legs. And he's down to his own 48-yard line. That's a vintage run from Robert Redford. He just said, put it on my back, fellas. Let me chug this ball along. Breaking every tackle, it seemed. All but that last final tackle that just ended up getting his shoestrings and bringing him down. But really, Robert Redford is making them pay and is absolutely a man on a mission to get a win tonight. Brady Clark already has two interceptions. He made that last shoestring tackle on Redford. He might be called on more and more as Redford gets more and more calls. Pass over the middle is in and out of the hands of BK12, and it's Horrell, David Horrell, who comes up with the deflection. And one thing about Vancouver's offense, they don't have to get one-dimensional because they're so good in both phases, the pass and the run. So they can afford to stay balanced and not have to just become one-dimensional, like I said, and and all lean all on pass and maybe become predictable. There are two Horrells on this Houston defense and two KTs, KT Slayer and KT Horrell. One plays offensive line, one plays inside linebacker. Just a fun fact for all you watching at home. Handoff through the middle. It's the fullback this time, Sawyer Stern, but he gets sent backward a yard by Alex Perez and company. Big third down upcoming for the Legion. And that was a galaxy brain play right there because to catch him off guard with the fullback, you know, sometimes it works, but that time it just didn't pay off, and now they're looking at a third and 11. They have to convert this third down. They're only two of five so far today. Pepper looking for a deep ball over the middle. It is incomplete. Killian maybe has some butter on those fingers because that's another pass he's dropped. Again, possibly contributing a little bit to that hit. It brings up fourth down. Yeah, you know, I've noticed he's, he's been a little off his game today. He just hasn't been able to be, be that sure-handed receiver we come to know. But, you know, maybe it's something that Houston's doing. Maybe he's hearing footsteps out there and it's just breaking his concentration a little bit. Might be a little bit of Brady Clark once again in on another big stop, who was the man who came up with that big hit to maybe jar that ball free from Killian. On comes the punter now, Brian Patrick, his first punt of the day. Greg Corky on the return. He can't make a whole lot of uh, out of the return. Maybe a net turn of about four or five yards to the 27-yard line. And what does a win mean for Houston and or Denver? Well, if Houston can win here in this game, or if Denver can win over at home versus Sioux Falls, that game going over on Next Level Sports. That would mean any team with a seven-loss record coming out of Week 13 would be would be officially eliminated from playoff contention. So Houston trying to, A, promote their own playoff aspirations, but maybe eliminate a few other potential opponents. Brad Jones on the run to the right side, only a pickup of a yard before Mar Marquise Reed brings him down. You know, while while Houston, I'm, I'm sure, wants to score every single position, I'd really like to see them maybe milk the clock a bit and not leave Vancouver with any room to do anything because Houston, you know, ahead in this ballgame, but, you know, to run out that clock would be another win for them. Dave Burr, back to pass. Pressure coming from up the middle. He's able to find DR Sim to the left side who comes up through the middle. And it's taken down at the 47-yard line. Another first down for the Hyenas. Yeah, and Dave Burr's been on the money today. Really, just almost everything is going his way. He's just lighting it up on the efficiency and really been able to pick apart this defense just about every single time he slings the ball. That's their seventh first down of the ball game for the Hyenas. It's the split backfield. Burr back to pass once again, looking for an out route. It's DR Sim near side, and he steps out of bounds after making contact with Ashley Rose Finch at the 45-yard line. Houston's been very consistent today. We've mentioned it being very methodical. This drive no different. Really, being able to be efficient on offense has paid off for him, and that shows on the scoreboard. Second and three from Vancouver's 45. Power I set here for the Hyenas. 
Only six men in the box to try and counter, and Pat Jones is going to eat that for lunch as he comes near side, trying to use his legs to extend the run, and he gets all the way down to the 23-yard line. And I think if he doesn't get stacked up on that block, I mean, look at this. He goes and then maybe gets just a little bit stacked up right there. But if he goes inside maybe or even outside, I think he picks up about 10 more yards right there. The tackler gets to him, but really great job by the offense. Great blocking and great running. And now they're very much threatening on the 23-yard line, and they can do just about anything to try to get points on the board. Another solid drive here for the Hyenas. Can they get some more points out of it? All slant pattern over the middle, looking for DR Sim to the near side, caught first down to the 11. Very, uh, we said it again, very methodical. DR Sim again targeted, caught it first down, and now another one more first down gets you on the one yard line. So they can really try anything right here and try to get points and, you know, three minutes left, accomplishing another task and burning down this clock. Houston are so far three of three when inside the red zone with a field goal and two touchdowns. Burr looking to add to that streak. Pass near side, caught at about the four yard line. DR Sim again involved. So dangerous. He's so dangerous because he just about catches everything and he's so good at spatial awareness to where he just about knows where every line of uh, on the field is to where he knows where to go on the field. And uh, Brad Jones looking for touchdown number two, and he's got it. Houston are running riot in Canada. And we look back, if we look back here in a little bit, we could be looking at a blowout by Houston. And on that drive, a 22 yard rush by Brad Jones and five of six passes going to DR Sim that drive really set the tone and got them in the, in the end zone. And now Houston. Uh, one more score puts him up 21 points, and Vancouver has got to come up with a plan to put points on the board. And Dave Burr, 15 of 18. How about that? A very solid day from the second-year quarterback as Houston, with the extra point, looking to go up by 21. Snap spot, Sonny Jade. Indeed, it is a 21-point lead. Houston, oh my goodness. We definitely have liftoff here, Wade. We do, and, and Houston has been going to the moon all day and really they have been had a, a just an outstanding game plan and they've stuck to it Vancouver has just had no answer for their game plan Sonny J to get us going with just under three minutes to go here in the first half Chris Curtis one foot in the end zone on the return and he gets speared at the 22 yard line and he he gets up almost immediately. It looked like he was going to maybe take a few seconds down, but uh, good for him to get right back on his feet as Vancouver's offense trots back out on the field. They are, well, they're, they're in a big old hole. Need to start digging themselves out in a hurry. That was the second special teams tackle by Tyler Simeon today. And really, he's that's kind of been the day it's been for Vancouver. Let's see if anyone can provide the spark for this offense. Pepper. Looking for Robert Redford out of the backfield who turns up field spinning out of a couple tackles. It's a third spin move, which picks up the first down. Yeah, first down right there and just showing why Robert Redford is just an absolute handful back there. He catches it and then he's off to the races. That spin move is the stuff of legends. I mean, when you talk about a spin move, one of the names you talk about in the SFL is Robert Redford because he's been doing it for so long and so well. That's just his almost, I'd say, his trademark. This might be the final play before we hit the two-minute warning. Cut in, flexed off the lead, opposite eye behind Tom Pepper. We'll see if he snaps it. He won't, and that brings us to the two-minute warning. Houston with the lead, Vancouver with the ball as we close out the first half. Can they make something happen? You're watching the SFL, presented by EPM Music on Twitch. Tyler Falk, Wade Phillips, glad to have your company here from Canada Field here in Vancouver. The hometown legion need to start mounting a comeback, and it starts with this drive here. Seven-step drop from Pepper, who pumps once, has time, 
Now has to throw it near side. That is caught by Brett Killian near midfield. He absolutely had all day to throw back there. He was just standing strong in the pocket. His line did a great job keeping him strong back there. Found his target, caught it, and then picked up a first down. Now they're sitting very good position on near midfield. And really, Vancouver has a great chance to score. Now they come out with an eye formation. Houston send four. Pepper looking to the left side. That is caught on the run. Picked up about maybe 10 yards, maybe a first down. And we got Julius Maxis. Maximus still down on the field. The standout defensive end. The second season in the league and with the team. He's slow to get up. Yeah, we, we cannot have that. Houston needs him out there because he's does such great work on that line, disrupting everything. But that time looked like might have got a knee to the back or something. Uh, elbow to the back, who knows? But hopefully it's just a few plays that he's out, but really need the, they need him out here. We'll bring you updates as they become available. Meanwhile, Vancouver did convert, make it a first down, and now they're on Houston's side of the field. Pepper will go under center with two backs in the backfield and two wide receivers. Handoff, Redfern through the middle, can't do nothing as the interior of the defense holds firm. It's Casey Harrell on the stop, and back to the line they go. Pepper with another handoff through the middle. And again, he's slowed up by KT Horrell. Only a pickup of maybe a yard as KT Horrell, the middle linebacker, is called on twice to make the stop, and they do. And I want to say maybe they, they saw something they thought they could take advantage of right there because to run those two run plays right in a row when they didn't really do anything, I get you're in hurry-up mode, but maybe pick a different formation or play. Five wide receivers here on third down for Pepper. Back to throw, looking over the middle, caught inside the 30, inside the 25, and at the 25 goes Brett Killian, and they're back in the hurry up. Tom Pepper, back to throw again, looking for it all, far side, tipped and picked up by Houston, and it's a safety! Oh no, a poor decision as he caught the ball in the field of play, ran into the end zone and out of bounds. What, wow, let's watch this again, friend, because catches it, yeah, goes out, and then wow, yeah, runs out of bounds in the end zone. So yeah, that is a safety. So, wow, that was just about the best possible, you know, outcome other than a touchdown for Vancouver right there, To it, especially with the interception. So just a unfortunate play by Houston, and now Vancouver gets it right back and going to try to put you know, seven points on the board. It's the rookie, Diedrich Law, who came up with the interception, his first of his career. Unfortunately, it's marred by the safety, and it's 24-5 as Vancouver get the ball back after the punt kickoff. And they've only got 48 seconds to try to do it, but hey, maybe Houston can hold firm and not allow any points right here, but we'll see. 48 seconds to go. Vancouver have two timeouts. And off through the middle, and that has not been working at all today. It's the fullback Sawyer Stern who gets nothing. Another handoff, this time to Robert Redford. Spinning out of a couple tackles, picking up about seven. Might need to change up to a passing play as it's third down, under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Another handoff, it goes to the fullback, Sawyer Stern. He's a yard shy at midfield, and the clock will continue to run. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to let it run out at this point. And so that will more than likely bring us to halftime where Houston is shocking Vancouver, one of the best teams in the league in Vancouver on their best season in franchise history. Houston leading 24-5 to as Corky calls for a fair catch as time expires and we go into the halftime break with Houston up big. Wade, quickly, what are your thoughts on this game? Houston clearly having a really good game. No, not a whole lot of mistakes besides that safety, but uh, oh, Houston in, in the driver's seat, you would have to say. Absolutely. And really, I would say it's almost a win for Houston's defense to 
give up a safety because, I mean, it, let's be honest, it's less than a field goal. So, I mean, it looked like Vancouver was very much in the spot where they could kick a field goal or get seven points. So, I mean, to only give up two, I mean, I almost have to take that as a win. Houston will get the ball off the second half as Colkey gets it up to the 21-yard line, and that is where Houston will start off their first possession of the second half. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Wade Phillips, Rochelle Colston, and Declan O'Rourke are our statisticians in the truck, making us sound smarter than we actually are, and of course making us uh, look a little bit better, and of course bringing to you all the presentation of the SFL. Our producer and SFL Commissioner Cameron Irvine, glad to have you along here for this week 13 matchup as Houston currently lead Vancouver and Dave Burr's back to pass his first pass over the middle to deep bomb and going down the field is DR Sim there's a flag on the play he's out of a tackle and is clattered the five yard line but it might come all the way back let's get the call from our 62 holding. oh indeed it is a holding call on the offensive lineman, Larry Collins, the right tackle. And so the big passing play is negated, and Houston go back 10 yards. Oh, uh, just it breaks your heart because he was off to the race. That was 74 yards before the hold. So just that's 74 yards wiped off the board. So that's just absolutely heartbreaking for Houston. So Canada breathe a sigh of relief. That's now first and 20. Burr looking out of the backfield for Jones, and Jones is met up at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing. Burr fields the fourth and on the stop again. And yeah, they they absolutely need to get out of this spot that they're in on their own 11 yard line. They need some second and 20 is doing them no favors, but they've got to get something. If they can maybe pick up a first down here, they'll be in a much better spot. Four wideouts, three to Burr's right. Another swing pass instead over for Jones, and he's going to go backward. A loss of two as Vancouver have started to pick up a little bit more on these swing passes, and now it's third and, well, forever. Yeah, and really the defense of Vancouver came to play in the second half already, and that time they stopped him for, you know, minus two yards, and now we're going to have to see them probably air it out right here. They'll flip the formation on offense. Offside call, free play for Houston. Another swing pass here for Jones. He's gonna get less than five yards. They'll take the penalty. It'll be the fifth play of the drive. Two of them have been penalties. Yeah, and, and so far Dave Burr has been very comfortable just letting Brad Jones try to be in the driver's seat and try to hurt him through the pass. So the offsides call will of course go against Vancouver. That is Cabrian Womack who gets hit with the infraction. So it's third and a little bit more manageable. It's like moving uh, sand on, on a beach in, in some words, but they'll, they'll take the five yards freely. Third and 17 now for Dave Burr and company, who comes out again with four wide, this time two to his left, two to his right. Deep drop here from Burr. Pressure coming from up the middle. The stop right at about the 24, and Corky can only get to the 25 yard line and brings up fourth down. Great bend, don't break defense by Vancouver to limit them to really nothing hurting them and forces the fourth down in the punt. So great job by the defense. And now Vancouver's offense is going to try to get going. Brett Killian has only three out of eight, uh, three out of eight targets as of right now. So, I mean, they definitely have to get him going because to for him to not be having the game that we know he can get, if, if they can get him going... Vancouver's very much got a chance to get right back in this ballgame. Vancouver's special teams send the blitz, but they can't block the punt, so Chris Curtis calls for a fair catch at the 45-yard line. The SFL has partnered with Laser to deliver digital SFL player trading cards to its players and viewers starting this postseason exclusively on SFL Twitch broadcast. Viewers every 30 minutes will be issued one of 18 trading cards, or you can buy the entire pack through Laser's store. To receive the complete set of common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare memorabilia. Visit layzr.gg and click the join alpha button to connect your Twitch account. Tom Peppers is off with a deep palm looking for Kendra Hall. And it's that man again, Brady Clark, who knocks it away. And good news continue for the Houston Hyenas. Julius Maximus might come back. Yeah, and the 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 
breaks keep coming for him right there. Like you mentioned, Julius Maximus is going to be coming back. And right there on that play, Brady Clark getting a very needed deflection. Andrew Hall trying to get herself involved in the game. Only has 19 yards to this point. That would have dramatically increased her total. Another deep drop from Pepper. Looking over deep over the middle. That's tipped again. And it's picked off again. David Harrell on the return. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Vancouver's passing attack has been null and void because of this defense from Houston. It's an absolutely smothering pass defense by Houston today. That's just another interception off the tip drill right there. David Harrell gets it and then off to the races, picks up probably 20 yards, David Horrell does. And then now Houston's offense gets it on their own 40-yard line. So, hey, it, what a second half it's begun. And they're in the driver's seat again. Dave Burr is currently winning the passing yard total in the battle of the quarterbacks. 187 yards compared to Tom Pepper's 125 approximately. Swing pass near side. Well, he's going to lose a couple of yards on that passing play. Three all told as Brand Jones heads out of bounds. Yeah, and not only did he go out of bounds, but he took out Kendra Hall. He just, I think he just was looking for her and tried to hurt her so she can't hurt him on offense. But that time, Brad Jones get a little bit of a off-balance catch and went out of bounds. Won't be hurting my former co-host of Net, but that's, that's not right, Brad Jones. Be kind. Burr looking for Jones again out of the backfield. This time he gets positive yards. He spins away from one, fighting off two defenders, and that's a great, great piece of open field running. He gets them within more manageable distance. Third and two upcoming here for Houston. He's so dangerous when he catches the ball. I mean, catches or runs because that spin move and can run with power right there. The juke move as well. Just keeps those legs churning, picks up the tough yards, and now looking at a third and two. Very much an opportunity to get a first here. I formation here for Houston on third and short. Burr takes a deep drop, steps up in the pocket, looks near side, deflected incomplete. Great coverage from Vancouver. It's major key with the deflection and they force Houston to punt. Major key did a great job getting a hand on it right there. It looked like Dave Burr might have kind of noodle armed it a little bit, getting it out there, maybe telegraphed it a bit too right. much. And that time Vancouver's defense was able to knock it down and force the punt. On comes Brian Adams, the punter for Houston. He's been fairly quiet. This is only his second punt of the ball game. And his third, actually, is the first play, first drive for Houston. Also went all up in a punt. As Curtis calls for another fair catch at the 17-yard line as Houston uh, defense will retake the field. They have been absolutely flying around this football field, causing Tom Pepper all kinds of distress. Yeah, I mean, Vancouver's offense has three points. Houston's defense has two points. So, I mean, they've done a great job really being the only the only points given up. If, you know, like I said, field goal and, a, and then the interception for the safety. Tom Pepper looking to change that in a heartbeat. Pass outside, tipped aside again. Nothing doing for Tom Pepper today. And it's Mike Jones who swats that one aside. Yeah, right there, Mike Jones gets his name called, gets his hand on it. And then really, Houston's, like we've mentioned, Houston's defensive backs have just been flying around this field the, every stage because they've gotten interceptions from the linebackers and the defensive backs. So really, all the whole defense has been playing lights-out football today. Third wide receivers, offset eye behind Tom Pepper here on second down. Tom Pepp with another deep seven-step drop. Has to get rid of it in a hurry. And that one's caught by Kendra Hall in triple coverage. She comes away with an excellent grab. She made him pay for trying to take her out on that, you know, when she's on the sideline. So right there, she caught it. And really, I thought she'd get tackled right there. But then she got a couple more yards after the catch. And really, this, this receiver crew for Vancouver has to get going because so far, they've just been playing flat. First down, Vancouver at their own 43-yard line. And off Redford near Sy has a couple of blockers. Spins back into the interior of the defense, and Brader, Brady Clark says hello, Mr. Redford, with a nice shoulder tackle. 
Yeah, he does it, you know, catching the ball for the interception was right there. Brady Clark brought the shoulder charge and just knocked out Robert Redford. My goodness, like, take it easy, bud. Another power eye set here for Vancouver at midfield. Seven men in the box to try and counter the 4-3 from Houston. Redford through the middle as he runs with a defender draped all over him for the first down. Pick up a five. And it's, it's been a methodical drive. We mentioned in the first half how these teams had quite a few methodical drives that got them down the field, and this drive no different. Vancouver's establishing themselves to be able to go, and really they need to pay it off with at least six points. Another 4-3 look here from Houston as Vancouver go with two backs in the backfield this time. Redford through the middle, and it picks up about three, and it seems like the no-nonsense running has actually proved to be more successful for Vancouver as the game has gone along. Absolutely, and I was actually just about to mention something about it. When they've been able to stay balanced and not just air it out every time, they do pretty well. They they get some good drives going, and they've, doing, they've done it this drive as well when they've stayed balanced. Pepper looks to throw, pumps once, looks outside, and it is caught near the sideline. Kendra Hall making herself available, and she has two catches on this drive alone. In that time, I thought the defense might have just been able to jump that route, but unfortunately they couldn't quite get to it. And that time Kendra Hall caught it for the first down, and now they're threatening on the Houston 30-yard line. So Vancouver looking like they're going to get to put some points on the board, and they need it. Pepper, seven-step drop, pressure coming. He dropped the ball, and it's loose. It's picked up by Vancouver. That's Robert. No, it's Sawyer Stern who picks it back up. It's a huge loss for Vancouver. That sets him all the way back at the 44. Ooh, 13-yard loss. That is just absolutely dreadful. That time, they have got to get some stick on their hands or get some of those tacky gloves because, you know, an inter you know the interceptions and the fumbles have just been absolutely killing them today that's raymond white who forced the fumble in for the injured julius maximus who has yet to return and he is well he provided a little bit of a spark here for that houston defense that was looking maybe a little bit worrisome knowing that maximus was out pepper looking for a deep ball far side that is caught by curtis inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line and that's one way to pick up the chunk a 16 yard pass to chris curtis right there that picks up you know Almost all of it. And now if they can get another few yards right here, they'll get a first down. And really, Vancouver just needs to just get some more points. They're still in this ballgame. It's still early enough to where they can get right back in it. Hearing some reports that Maximus may be back in the lineup. We'll, we'll see if we can get a better look at that defensive line here in a moment. Five wide receivers. In the formation here on third down, Pepper looking over the middle, caught by Kendra Hall inside the 15 and down to the 13. It's another first down there in the red zone. Kendra Hall's playing lights out this drive. I mean, they've targeted her, I want to say three or four times so far, uh, but she has been doing excellent this drive and really I'd like to see her get to punch it in because she's been so big on this drive already. First down and 10 from the 13 yard line. Can Vancouver punch it in for the first touchdown of the ball game? Pass right side. Caught pickup of nine for James Walters, the tight end, and they're at the four. He caught that and he was just off to the races. Such an explosive acceleration for him. That time just couldn't quite get it in, but now second and one on the four yard line. Yeah, they're definitely have some chances to do something crazy on the on the in the red zone. Split backfield, seven men in the box, handoff, Redford through the middle, nothing doing. Very good defensive effort from KT Horrell and company, no gain. Yeah, no gain, really, Houston's defense doing a great job at the point of attack, and now Vancouver has to come up with something to get this first down. I would assume, just guessing it'd be four down territory, but you never know. Power I said, maybe looking to just punch it in with Redford. And up through the middle, Robert Redford crosses the goal line, and it's a touchdown the first of the day for the Legion as they start to mount a comeback. And there it is, pay dirt for him, 
and puts him right back in this ball game. Only down 13 at this point. Get a field goal right here to only, to only 12. So, hey, four field goals or two touchdowns. But Houston's defense did a pretty okay job right there on that drive. But so far, Vancouver's offense finally got it going with those wide receivers, and they stayed balanced. And that, I believe, is why they were able to punch it in for six. Vancouver's longest drive of the football game. 12 plays, 84 yards, culminating with that Robert Redford four-yard rushing touchdown. Kick is up from chance to win. It is good. It's a 12-point ball game, 24-12. to 12. Visit the SFL website at simulationfl.net for links to apparel from Sector 6 and SFL mini helmets from 97 sports promotions, plus articles from our content team, including power rankings, what we learned, read option, and talent fact. Three's feature series. See all the league records, team stats, player leaderboards, the rankings of the next class of SFL talent, and so much more. SimulationFL.net, your home for everything SFL. And if you haven't checked out the SFL website yet, that's where you go to create a player for the, the minor league, the SFLM, which starts up in a couple weeks' time as Corky makes a really nice return to the 35 yard line. Oh, well, I thought he was going to be off to the races. It looked like he broke that tackle, and but then the the special teams unit got the shoestring tackle and tripped him up. So Houston now with their lead chopped into just a little bit, was at 19, was at 21 at one point. Now they have to get back on the horse, start putting the up of this pack onto Vancouver as the first play from scrimmage is a handoff through the middle for Jones, picks up a couple. And really, depending on how well they are able to do it, if they can just run heavy the rest of the way for Houston they've got a chance to really end this ball game with a victory but it's really gonna matter how many yards they pick up each run obviously and that was actually the fullback Justin Williams on the carry last time out it's this time we'll see Jones who makes a nice little spin move on the swing pass picks up a couple more and it's third and three and that time almost picked it up right there almost but Brad Jones, you know he's chomping at the bit. He wants to break a few more tackles and get a big game like that 22-yarder we saw earlier. But that time, not much, but it's a manageable third and three. All right, set here in short yardage situation. They'll go with Jones on the ground, through the middle, spinning out of a tackle and picking up the first down. He's finally wrapped up at the 46, and Houston keep the drive alive. Man, he hit that that hole in a blink just blink your eyes and he's there and that time got enough for the first down they gave him forward progress just enough and now they've got that first and 10 almost nearing midfield Burr will hand off to Jones on the left side it's a crunching hit laid on him by Gerald Judas sets the loss of three and he just is always there you you can't you can't talk about Vancouver without talking about Gerald Giudicesi because he I want to say he makes this defense tick because he's all nearly every game I've called for them I've called his name doing something back there. Second and long, Burr takes a deep drop, pressure coming from the corner. It's a deep bomb left side and just out of the reach of Dr. Sim and Michael Lister shot was shot out of a cannon to try and make something happen. And that was the first miss on a target to DR Sim all day, the first time, and we're in near almost to the fourth quarter. Five wide receivers here on third and long. Her. The throw pressure coming, they bring him down again. It's a nightmare of the Greek variety. Achilles Papatonis, and it's fourth down. And that there it is. They needed that. They got the sack, and that just, the play took a while to develop, and then Dave Burr felt the pressure, the pocket collapsing. He tried to get out and then brought him down. It's the fourth quarter. Get your fours and, of course, 86s up in chat here in Vancouver. You're watching the SFL presented by APM Music live on Twitch. Final frame of regulation on its way. Vancouver 
might just have a comeback. Don't call it a comeback just yet. They send the blitz again, and they nearly get to Brian Adams, and it's Chris Curtis who has to try and make a return. Maybe a return of about a yard or two, and that is where Vancouver will take over. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Wade Phillips, Rochelle Coaston, Declan O'Rourke, and the Stats Truck Commissioner Cameron Irvine is our producer. We're, things are getting spicy here late in the ball game here, Wade. They are, and really, if you look at that rushing, those rushing stats, 36 for Vancouver and only 17 for Houston. So really, it's been all passing all day. And surprised that we've seen such a large lead by Houston with only 17 rushing yards. Pepper with a deep drop here on first down, looking near side, caught and hit immediately as Chris Curtis puts it up for the first down. You know, I just realized something, partner, and that's those sacks take off rushing yards, so that is why it's less. But really, still, less rushing yards for both these teams, and really, they need to stay balanced, Vancouver does, to try to stay in this ballgame, because when they've gone one-dimensional, one it's hurt them. Other handoff, Redford to the left side is a little bit more room. This time, breaks it up a tackle, and he's off to the races. Inside the 40, the 30, the 20. Out of the tackle again! Robert Redford, you are unstoppable! Touchdown, Vancouver! He just would not be denied. He played a man ball right there, just took it, and no one was stopping. He broke so many tackles right there. I think he broke everybody on that defense. But the, he hit that hole, hit that outside, spin move, breaks the tackle. And then off to the races, it was a foot race. And then the safety, it looked like, caught him from behind, but he just would not be stopped. And then saunters into the end zone, big old spike. Get in there, big boy, touchdown. Speed kills. Robert Redford annihilated whatever Houston threw at him on, on that play. And Redford picks up another touchdown. He's just one more TD away from hitting 120 his career. Of course, chasing down BDG Hollywood, who's alone at number one all time with, I think, about 180 or so rushing touchdowns. But Robert Redford, the natural, does it again. And this extra point will bring the game to within five points. Snap spot, chance to win's kick is up and good. We are within five points. 8 p.m. music is unrivaled music to bring your stories to life, inspiring every production with the world's most robust and constantly refreshed music collection, state-of-the-art technology, and world-class customer service. 8 p.m. music is the official soundtrack of the Simulation Football League. To explore their library and to find the perfect tracks for your projects, visit 8pmmusic.com. And I ask you, partner, what kind of music was Robert Redford listening to as he made that big old scamper? Uh, I'm going to have to say bluegrass. No, I I, I would say uh, maybe heavy metal because he just broke through all the metal right there. There we go. And you can check out more selections from APM Music over on their website as Houston will start off this very important drive from their own 28. They have gone on a little bit of a dry spell in terms of points. They have yet to pick up a single point here in this second half. And that needs to change because Vancouver is coming from behind and trying to take back the lead. It's a corner route, far side, tipped up in the air, incomplete, nearly picked off by Dean Maddox. Houston has got to finish strong because it has been all Vancouver in this second half. Houston has not had very many things go their way, and Vancouver is playing like another team and really, they play very close in almost all their ball games, and it's no exception tonight. Runner center, heavy set around him. And up uh, Jones to the right side, who breaks out of a tackle, but is only able to pick up a yard as Papatonis and company were there to make a star stop along with Major Key. And again, we're going to have to see Houston get something going. I mean, they third and nine it's 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 time for them to put their foot on the gas and get a first down and try to put more points on the board because vancouver is coming back Her looking over the middle caught first down dougie day his first reception of the ball game and that means that houston is now back to 50 percent on third downs today six to twelve and they get that very much needed first down so that it prolongs this drive houston 
if they can just maybe run some plays, r- run some run plays, burn this clock a bit because there's still nine minutes left. So that's plenty of time for Vancouver to make a comeback and get you know ahead in this ball game. Bunch set near side. Here on first down, they'll go with a run. Jones to the right side. He has a couple of blocks out of a tackle, and then it stood up at the 47 by Drew Hamilton. And there's one play that they run that burns some time and gets six yards, so that's definitely a win-win. Houston has to stick with this game plan, just keep chipping away and burning clock. Vancouver doing a great job so far limiting them, and they have to do something to maybe force a turnover here. Shotgun set here on second and medium. Burr looking near side to his tight end. That is caught by Tyler Simeon, who picks up the first down yards after turning the quarter to the 43 of Vancouver. Playing a big game on special teams and making a catch right there. Tyler Simeon playing all facets of the game. He's a true two-way tight end. We don't see a whole lot more of that in, in a whole lot of football leagues anymore, but, but here in Houston, I like to use him in, in both facets. So that's good to see. Shotgun set again here for Houston. Burr looking to throw outside. That's Cal Finnamore all alone on the right side who fights his way forward, stretches his arms, picks up another first down for the Hyenas. You said it fought for every inch right there. I thought he was going to get balled up for only nine yards, but fought forward, picked up the extra yard, gets it to a first down, and now they are in Vancouver territory and very much threatening to, you know, put some more points on the board and extend their lead. Yeah, Vancouver's 32, handoff near side for Jones. He is met in the backfield again. Mark Lopez and Gerald Zudicessi were there to greet him. It's a loss of three. That time, Mark and Gerald just in living in the backfield. They got back there in a hurry and bottled them up for a minus three yard gain. That time, just excellent run defense by Vancouver. Nickel look here from Vancouver. Burr looking near side, tipped up in the air, incomplete. Ashley Rose Finch got her hands up there to stop Cal Fittimore from holding that one in. And they needed that. It stopped him, and they get that incompletion, which forces a third down, a very long third down, third and 13. So very much Houston needs a first down, or at least to pick up some you know, 10 yards and make their field goal try a lot easier. Two backs in the backfield, three wide receivers here on third and long. Burr looking for the post route, and it's tipped and picked off. The first mistake of the day for Dave Burr and Vancouver are back in it. Vancouver has life again. The, the interception right there, it looked like Dave Burr had an opening on that slot receiver, looked like it was open, but tried to target that outside receiver and it was tipped intercepted and that time Vancouver gets it and Houston's defense is going to have to come to play and get this stop because Vancouver has a chance to pull ahead since for the first time since you know three minutes into the ball game when they kicked a field goal to go up three nothing since then Houston went on a run now Vancouver's been on a little bit of a run Pepper looking to throw. It's an out route near side for Kendra Hall. Caught pickup of about seven yards. Cover to the Simulation Football League on Next Level Sports continues. Saturday, April 16th, the final day of the regular season at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. The South Division title will be on the line when Mexico City faces Lone Star. Plus, D.C. will meet the London in a crucial game for playoff seating. NXT will also have coverage of potential division races up for grabs in the West, Atlantic, and East. Visit NLSE.com to find next level sports in your neck of the woods. Second down play will be a run for Redford, who's brought down by his shoelaces at about the 33 pickup of about two as Frank Stackhouse brings him down. Third and one upcoming. You know, Robert Redford made it to a thousand yards in this ball game already and right. made also made it, like you mentioned, 120 touchdowns. But really, if they don't get the touchdown, I, I would almost feel like it would be kind of sour grapes a little bit. And Kendra Hall on the receiving front already is now also over a thousand yards receiving on the season. And up up the middle for Redford, and that's as easy as you like. The line created a gaping hole for him to run through, and it's another first down for Vancouver. So mark it down, another first down, and they get continue this drive. The clock 
slowly going down. So Vancouver, if they can maybe extend this drive as much as possible and milk as much time off the clock and not leave Houston if they get a touchdown and not leave Houston with much time to play. We have confirmation that Julius Max is back on the field. Try to add pressure to the middle as a deep bomb over the middle. What? How did Chris Curtis come up with that in a sea of trees? Oh my goodness, Chris Curtis skied for that, it looked like, because there were just a sea of white jerseys over there, just right there. Wow, got up high, mossed him, and then brought it down, caught that, and sets him up in Houston territory. Vancouver, great field position to put points on the board and maybe punch their ticket and get a get ahead a on the scoreboard. From Houston's 33. Pepper, quick drop this time, over the middle, caught Kendra Hall to the 20, to the 15 yard line. Oh, here they come, here comes Vancouver. I'm getting jitterbugs right now, Wade. Yeah, uh, my goodness, Vancouver, we, we, we've we talked about how they play tight ball games almost every week, and this week, no exception. So we're gonna see some fireworks here late in this ball game. Now from the red zone, down by five, under five to go here in the fourth quarter. Houston needs a stop in the worst way. Deep drop from Pepper, looking for it all. The back of the end zone, caught! Hotchtown, Chris Curtis, Vancouver, we take the lead after being down by 21. Wow, they needed it and he came up big on this drive. None bigger than that huge play that got him deep in this territory and right there to finish it off, Chris Curtis gets the touchdown. None sweeter than that right there. Well done, young fella. What an absolutely incredible drive. Some would call it a drive of destiny. Nothing could go wrong for Vancouver. And they're not done yet. Looking to try and tack on two points. Hand off Redford through the middle. Oh, he's in. It's a three point ball game. Nothing has gone wrong for Vancouver on that last drive. It's now 27 to 24. And don't look now, Tyler, but now Vancouver leads and Sioux Falls leads as well. So Denver and Houston trailing. So that could bail out the seven lost teams if it stands. We don't have anything official. I can't tell you if any of those three lo seven lost teams are out of the playoffs. But now if the scores line stands, all those teams need a win if they haven't played yet this past weekend or they need to win out next week in week 14 as Corky on the return. However, this game isn't done. Still plenty of time for Houston to make something happen. No, you said it. You said that Vancouver, is their, their one mistake was leaving four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock for Houston to do something, mount a comeback because, hey, up until this second half, Houston's been very dynamic all uh, that whole first half. The defense was superb in the first half. Offense could do no wrong. Second half, whole different story. Needs to change now. Vancouver send a three-man blitz pass outside of Cal Finnemore. Near the first down marker, they'll give it to him at the 34. And Finnemore did a great job right there catching it, getting the first down, and getting out of bounds. So excellent job for that, you know, spatial awareness and, and be awareness of that out-of-bounds line to get it first down and out-of-bounds. Four minutes, 33 seconds left to go. Burr in the gun, two tight ends on the line to the left, two wide receivers off to his right. We're gonna look to throw, just a dump off over the middle. Nice, simple, easy pitch and catch to Kyle Finnamore, continues to move the ball downfield. And that's what they need, just these, these consistent plays that get them enough to be methodical on this drive. Because Houston can be very consistent and just chip away, just chunk after chunk. Same formation for Houston. Linebackers creep up to the near and middle. Another dump off for Fidham. Or he caught, and he fumbled the football. Vancouver recovered. And just like that, Vancouver control the game. Wow, how about that turn of events? They did not, they could not afford that. And that caught it. It looks like he, yeah, no, he established it. It looked like, and then just punched the peanut punch, knocks it out. And now Vancouver gets the ball back. Oh, going to challenge the play. Earl feels the fourth, knocked it free. 
if our city two decides to overturn it, it would mean a massive momentum shift back in Houston's favor. If the call stands, Vancouver will have a little over three minutes to try and milk as much clock or add some points to the board. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't partner, know, partner. I'm gonna have to caught it. I, I think it's pretty cut and dry, but here's the official call. After review, the play stands. The receiver did not have possession of the No ball. change. The call stands. Houston are forced to lose a timeout, and Vancouver take over in Houston territory. And just, I would almost say, if you hold on to that challenge, your defense has been playing well enough to where you might be able to force. Vancouver into a three and out or at least force him into a punt. Welcome to everyone joining us on Next Level Sports. Vancouver have come from behind a 21 point deficit to take the lead here late in the first quarter. Now after a fumble, they control the clock and control the pace of the game as Robert Redford gets the call here on first down picks up three. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Wade Phillips here in the booth and Wade, it's a tale of two halves here in this one. It has been. Vancouver much flatter in the first half, but they came alive in the second half. Houston, on the other hand, playing lights out in the first and really just kind of fell off a cliff in the second half. We'll see if Houston's defense can reinvigorate themselves and show us a little bit more of that first half form as Tom Pepper elects to milk as much clock as possible. Band off Redford, who had a nice run earlier in the ball game for a touchdown to start the comeback. Picks up a couple more yards here. It's third and two. Yeah, he had that giant run earlier in this ballgame, and I would just say just lean on him the rest of the way because you don't want to leave Houston with any time left. But if as, if you're Vancouver, you could pretty much just milk this clock out. you got three minutes left. Just keep milking it. Offset eye behind Tom Pepper. Middle linebacker showing blitz. That's Casey Horrell. And off Redford near side, he will get the first down to the 35-yard line, and the clock continues to run. Yeah, clock continues to run, and that that Sioux Falls Denver score is final. So that's 27 to 24. Sioux Falls with the victory. So that's at least one game that the seven win seven lost teams are still breathing a sigh of relief. And I believe, partner, I believe that means Sioux Falls collects the West Division title for the first time since we've gone back to division or rankings off to get confirmation, unless Houston can come away with a victory here. That is, yeah, I and, should say. Yeah, definitely. And so far, the defense in this drive right there doing a good job to stop them. And now if they can just finish strong, they've got a chance. Two-minute warning. Vancouver trying to hold on to this lead. They have got late. Houston down by three. Can the defense make a stop? You're watching the SFL on Next Level Sports. Right. Two minutes to go with the final frame of regulation. Legion with the ball just on the outskirts of field goal range at second and 11. Flag on, on the play. Redford goes near side. He's to the 20-yard line, and I believe it's a free play no matter what. And they get to the 19-yard line. And I do believe they'll take the result of the play there, Tyler. So the penalty flag goes for now. It's an offside penalty. Let's see who it's on. It will tag the 55, Alex Perez, with being offside. We'll take a closer look at Robert Redford's run as it's a pretty nice scamper. Tackled by Brady Clark. And Brady Clark had a really nice first half. A couple interceptions, a forced fumble. But ultimately, Vancouver just has stormed back in the second half. You're absolutely right. He did have a great first half, getting the two interceptions, like you said, getting some big tackles. But really, Vancouver has been the show of the second half. Redford on the give again. This time, he's hit hard by Perez. No gain this time around. Houston called their second timeout. Of course, they tried to challenge a fumble, which led to uh, Vancouver's position. Our most recent possession that's the way they lost a timeout so they only have one timeout remaining partner that's right and you know that'll only leave them with the clock winding down on fourth down which at this point vancouver's in field goal territory so assuming they get that field goal it's gonna leave houston with time to have to really march down the field in a hurry 
Redford on the give, left side, spinning out of one and two, but can't fight off the third, taken down after to pick up a maybe two or three yards. There's Houston's final timeout with a minute 48 left to go. And they're slowly running out of time. You know, only down three, but they've got to get a stop here and force the field goal, at least try, maybe get a block on the field goal try, but really they've got to play flawless. Third down conversion more than likely seals it for Vancouver. Hand up, Redford. He stopped in the backfield at the 17-yard line. And Houston will get the ball back with some time after a kick up potentially if chance to win can knock home three points. Yep, and only one minute left for them to march down the field probably around 80 yards, give or take. Clock will continue to run. It'll be about a minute left to go when Houston get the ball, either on a made field goal or a miss. Chance to win, looking to put Vancouver up by six. Snap spot. No issues on the kick. It is up and good from 34 yards out. It's a six-point lead. 30-24. Houston now with a minute and three seconds to go from the point of kickoff. It's all on them. No second chances. Yeah, and at this point, it's got, it's six or bust because they have to get a touchdown because a field goal doesn't do it for them. To win, we'll kick it off to Greg Corky, who stands near his own end zone to receive the kick. Corky on the return, looking near side, spinning out of a tackle and is taken down at the 24 yard line. So it's 76 yards to go to pay dirt for Houston to come away with the victory and to keep the West Division in limbo for Sioux Falls. Yeah, right now, Houston is got their own destiny in their hands and they have got to do something here. Her with a quick drop, looking over the middle. That is caught by DR Sim near midfield. Time will continue to run with no timeouts. Oh, if only he stayed up. 45 seconds, Dave Burr spikes it. 45 seconds to go, and Houston looked like to be in a right formation, just one of the clock the time. Yep, yep. And that time they have the opportunity because we know they're probably going to be airing it out. Um, but Hey, if, if only he stayed up, but we can't knock that now. And they get the spike, and now they've got to air it out again. It's time to come out with four wide receivers. Burr takes a deep drop. Papatone is closing in. Deep bomb. It's over the head of Kyle Finnemore, and it's third down. That time, it looked like the, the defensive line was just about to get to him. He had to get rid of it just off the target. And really, that was one of the the small times that Dave Burr actually was off target all day. It seems like he's been doing a great job, but now they need him more than ever. Still with four wide receivers on the field. This time, they'll go with the trips formation toward Burr's left. Quick drop. Looking for an all-slant play for Sim and nothing doing. There looked to be a little bit of confusion. Maybe the ref got in the way. Incomplete. Fourth down, biggest play of the football game. Absolutely. They've got to get at least 10 yards here. And if they don't, it is lights out for Houston. But Vancouver's defense going to try to play strong and force the victory tonight. Five wide receivers need to get to the 44 to convert. Burr. Looking for the corner out, near side, incomplete! Overthrew his wide receiver, Vancouver take over, and will win this football game! And so, yep, that, that just about wraps it up. We'll have to see how it ends up, because hey, you never know, partner. We never know what can happen in the SFL, but uh, just about assured that Vancouver gets the win, and that'll make 10 victories for them, their first time double-digit wins. Congratulations to Vancouver of locked up the Pacific Division some quite some time ago here in this season. And things just keep on getting better and better for Vancouver. What a comeback. Down 
24 to 3 near the end of the first half have come all the way back to win tom pepper will kneel it down for the final time in the ball game and vancouver come away with the victory 30 to 24 in a spectacular second half comeback absolutely that was just a just a picture perfect comeback for vancouver their season has been filled with just absolute miracle wins at the last possible moment and i've been a party to at least two of them and so it's been absolutely worth the price of admission for every single vancouver game this season and final score legion 30 hyenas 24 and what does that mean for the playoff picture well houston is not necessarily knocked out but that also keeps alive all the seven lost teams after both denver and houston fail to come away with victories today sioux falls need a las vegas loss now in order for for sioux falls to wrap up that division let's talk about our game here tom pepper well after that interception over the middle after that he was lights out undeniable uh just incredible and so was robert redford absolutely definitely a first half to forget for this vancouver squad only scoring five points two of them off of safety really not their fault uh but really vancouver did not give up they kept fighting houston just fell a little flat in the second half and vancouver used all their momentum to really keep up and get the victory. Robert Redford had a second half. That big run right there that we just saw really capped it off because he was just on a mission to get a victory at that time. And also, we have to mention the Vancouver's defense really coming to play in the second half and getting that victory. Houston, 277 total yards. Vancouver, 281 passing yards. Vancouver shut out Houston in that second half, scoring 24 unanswered points. Houston could not score even one in that half as a couple of errors that fumble from Finnemore over the middle seal their fate as Houston fall to 5-6 and six and need to win next week when they take on in their final game. They'll take on Fort Worth back home in the den. Vancouver will face San Diego in San Diego next week in order for them to maybe keep pace, maybe looking for the number one seed in the playoffs as they're in hot pursuit of Baltimore. So our player of the game here from Canada is none other than Robert Redford, who had two spectacular touchdowns, 149 yards, all told on the day. For Wade Phillips, my partner, Rochelle Colston, and Declan O'Rourke, and of course, Cameron Irvine, I've been Tyler Falk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for more Week 13 action here at the SFL. For all of us here in Canada, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.